Hey, it's Anthony Allen Ramos from Glad. Nice to see you both. All right, Jim, I'm hey, gonna see you. Good to see you again. Thank you so much. Jim, you were involved with this uh, this project early on. I know you're a producer also with your husband. Can you tell me a little bit about how this originally came into your world? Yeah, uh, Michael Asiello actually sent me a galley's early copy of the book and asked if I would conduct a Q&A with him in Barnes & Noble for the launch. Um, I read the book in preparation for that. My husband watched me read it, which meant he watched me sobbing. And, um, and then he read it and said, we need to ask Michael if he'll allow us to option this, which he did at the Barnes and Noble Q and A, which was not, it was pushy, <laughs> not necessarily awkward. It was pushy and I'm forever grateful to him for pushing. He pounced. Yeah. <laughs> I, thank you for that story. Um, ben, I know playing Kit, you had access to home movies and you got to actually use the camera and other personal um, things from Kit. I mean, tell me about what that was like and how special it was to get to have access to that. Yeah, really, it, they were, it was incredibly special, incredibly moving to watch those uh, videos of him. I felt I was, was hit by a huge level of, of responsibility, but also I just really loved him as well. I loved Kit and I, mm. and I fell in love with Kit more and more through the process. And, you know, using that camera that was actually his in those scenes was extremely powerful to think that I was looking in, at that screen that he had looked at and taken that photo. That that made that scene that much more moving for me, just hold, holding that really. Um, and also looking at his artwork as well, his photography, I took real pleasure in just seeing, being able to see how he saw the world and what he found interesting. And that was really revealing to me about his sense of humor and kind of his wit and the way he viewed life. Um, and I, I loved I loved getting to know him. I, I wish I was able to know him in, in person. Same. Uh, Jim, you know, so much of what we do at GLAAD is about storytelling and how important that is. So, you know, you being a part of making this into a film, what do you think it would have been like for you to see a film like this when you were younger and you were growing up? I, I, I really don't know that I have words for it. And I'll tell you specifically why, because it's really only been as we've been doing press for this, it's coming out into the world that I'm realizing I got to take part in telling the type of story that I grew up loving to watch and connecting to, but not about gay couples. They were still powerful to me, and 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 I feel the same way about our movie. I don't think you need to be gay to have this powerfully affect you. Um, but I kind of didn't realize that along the way, or it was a slow realization. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's what's been uh, that's what's been so moving to me about this. Ben, for you, what would it have been like to have a film like this? I kind of I can't I can't imagine it <laughs> um, because it just yeah. didn't it didn't exist and I think I, I I wonder I was I was so unfortunately shame filled that I that I rejected a lot of things that were there I think when I was younger but but something like this I think would have just given me an, another option another look at what it meant to be gay you know um, a positive example of of love not just not just gay but of, of love and i think this show, this this film really does give you all the spectrum of what love is and what being a relationship is and that's the good and the difficult moments as well sally if i may mm -hmm. come to you this film is so many things but what i loved so much was seeing a mother and father accept their son for who he is for being gay um i know you have a, a son who's gay how special was it for you to be a part of telling this story? Uh, well, it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, not for those reasons. It, it to me, um, it, it's a story uh, uh, that is even more, well, that's an important thing, but it's even yeah. more important because it's about loving anybody, loving some, how hard it is to love somebody in, in the world, whether you're gay or straight. It's, it's very hard to do and stay with it. And it, it's a story about two parents that fight it out with their child and fight it out with each other and ultimately love each other. And to um, the partners that love each other and fight with each other and love each other. And that's the story that I wanted to tell, or I was, I was glad to be there to tell. No, absolutely. Bill, what do you want the takeaway from this film to be kind of expanding on what Sally just said? Ooh, I'm not sure what anyone should take away. I hope people will come and sit in the movie theater again. And take away what they will. Take away what they will and see this. 
like Sally, I'm the proud parent of a proud gay young man. And uh, the story had incredible resonance for me, but it was also like a day-to-day -day job. Okay, I have this fight with, with my wife on this scene, and then this scene, I tell you what, Michael Showalter and, and David Marshall Grant did a really shrewd thing, and I didn't even clock it because as so all of, excuse me, as so often in movie making you you shoot things out of sequence. But when we learn of our son's illness, very heavy stoicism around the table. Marilyn says, Well, of course you will fight this and we'll do this. We'll do, who wants some dessert? And and then Jim's character. Jim is the eye of the audience, goes upstairs and he sees these two parents comforting each other with real emotion. The emotion didn't, wasn't right to show under the duress down at the dinner table, but alone, that's where, that's where family love plays out and supports each other. Even though, like I've said, my first line on my first day of work was, oh, for Christ's sake, Marilyn, <laughs> <laughs> that defined our our working relationship. I love that. Sally, have you um, got to talk to your son about this important film? Has he seen it yet? Because it's just, it's so beautiful and I'm so happy that you were a part of telling the story. My, I have had the great privilege to work with Michael Showalter, the director, before. And he, uh, we did a wonderful little film called Hello, My Name is Doris. And um, so he knows my son, Sam. And he said, when I, he wanted me to see, Michael wanted me to see the movie. Um, and he said, please bring Sam. As a matter of fact, I would rather have Sam see the movie than you No, I mean, he wanted me to see the movie, but he wanted Sam to see the movie. Um, and so Sam went with me and a good friend of mine here in New York a few um, months ago. Um, and, and he's a very tough critic, Sam. I'm always frightened for him to see my work. It's like, oh, he's going to tell me what he thinks, please. Um, but he did, you know, he, he really, he really loved the movie. He, he really like he didn't cry, but that's all right. But, um, I think he felt emotional, but, um, it, he, he liked it. So that I'm glad. I would love to know, take me back to the very first time you saw Jim and Ben together playing you and Kit. I mean, I imagine that was probably pretty profound. Yeah, it was, you know, we shot a lot of the oncology appointments first. So talk about emotionally grueling um, for both of them uh, to be, to sort of dive in to this experience with, you know, such emotional material. Um, it was surreal. Uh, it was surreal, but it was also, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was a feeling of how fortunate to have gotten to this place, um, to, the, to the place in this journey where we're actually making the movie, which is not an easy thing to do. Have you given a thought to what you think Kit would, Kit, what he would think about, you know, this film and that you have, you know, obviously two amazing actors and you're putting it out into this beautiful film? I have not given any thought to that. And the reason is because Kit was very particular about his art mm -hmm. and uh, would, always had strong, surprising opinions. And uh, I couldn't even begin to think what, what, what his reaction would be. Uh, uh, I'm sure he would have notes. Um, <laughs> and, and absolutely, he would have notes. He's, he, again, very strong opinions. I do, I do know that he would be pleased uh, that we cast Ben Aldridge as him, mostly because he's so fucking hot. Yeah, <laughs> agree. Um, I, Jim just told me that it took, he really wanted to make it into a film. It took some um, convincing on your part. Um, what was it like? I mean, it's one thing to write it down and put it into this, into a book, into a memoir, but then to really make a film and tell stories that were, you know, difficult, but obviously so important. How would you compare the two, just kind of emotionally going through it again? Well, the, writing the book was grueling because uh, I started the, that process very soon after Kit died. And I did that because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to remember the small stuff uh, if I had waited. Uh, so that was hard. But, you know, the, the thing about writing a book is you are essentially in total control of the story. 
Um, so filmmaking and making a movie involves letting go of some of that control, even though I was involved every step of the way. Uh, it's a scary thing to, you know, for a story that you're so invested in and so protective of to, to entrust that with other people. Um, luckily, I, I entrusted it with brilliant people, amazing artists and, and collaborative individuals, people who's, who sought my opinion and valued uh, my opinion. Um, and that made the experience of this experience m much more fun and enjoyable uh, than the actual writing of the book, which was, which was emotionally grueling. One of the things, I mean, it's so emotional, it's such a beautiful story, but one of the things that I love that I think is so important that we see more of is with Sally Field's character just being so accepting of her son right away and then literally just, you know, being caring the whole way through. Um, I mean, how important is it that we see that? Because I think, you know, it's we don't see it enough. I mean, I think there's such an opportunity there for people to go and see this movie to understand that. Well, I mean, I think everybody's ex coming out experience is different. And, and sometimes, um, you know, your parents take it well, sometimes they don't. I think it's important to see the, the, the diversity of those experiences and those stories. Um, this hap just happened to be one of those experiences where, you know, the, the, you know, the parents just, there was just so much profound love there that it, it, it overrided any, anything else. Um, and, uh, uh, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful to see just how accepting, um, of a situation and an environment that was. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Wishing you the best. Thank you so much.